Today I'm going to teach you the most important things on Upwork in under six minutes. Upwork is the largest freelance platform and one of the best places to make money online by working remotely from anywhere in the world. In 2021, clients spend a total of $3.5 billion on Upwork with freelancers from over 180 countries and your piece of those billions is at stake. But in order to win jobs, make more money and make sure you get paid for the work you do, you need to know how Upwork works, the three most important things and what's important to do and not to do. On Upwork, people who need something done come and post their job. That's called a client. And people who can do that job are called freelancers. Most people think Upwork is a marketplace. Instead, think of Upwork like a trusted friend who holds onto the money while you do a job. There are over 200,000 jobs that clients have posted on Upwork right now. Some of the biggest job categories on Upwork include web design, web and mobile development, and graphic design. There are also some job categories that are super easy for anyone to get started in, like data entry, copywriting, and virtual assistants. And some categories that are very specific like artificial intelligence and machine learning, marketing automation, and mobile app development. Hourly rates can reach up to $1,000 per hour for highly skilled experts in almost all categories. As a freelancer, you will start off by searching for jobs you can do. When you find a job that sounds like one you would want to do, you reach out to clients and submit a proposal. On popular jobs, clients will receive your proposal together with proposals from other freelancers, so it's important that your cover letter helps you stand out. When a client gets to your proposal, here's what they see. Your photo, your profile headline and location, your badge and job success score percentage, your skill tags, your rate and total earnings, and the first two lines of your cover letter. Here's what to do and what not to do on your cover letter. Don't repeat information that is already in your profile. We already know what your name is, where you're from, and what you do, so you don't have to repeat that. Everyone can tell if you've copy-pasted, so don't copy-paste your cover letters. And don't focus on yourself in your cover letter. Instead, focus on the client. Imagine yourself in their shoes and what they've struggled with and what they're frustrated with as they're trying to hire for their job and start your cover letter with that. Also, wherever you can, use the client's first name. You can often find this in the client's feedback history on the job posting. In the feedback history, if you also see the client's business name, that's even better. The more personalized you can make your cover letters, the more jobs you'll win, so use that too. But the cover letter isn't the end of the road for you. Once you've got a client interested, then they're going to check out your profile. That's where you can write about how you help out clients with your service, a bit more about what you do, and provide some examples of your work. Your entire profile on Upwork is important, but there's one thing that's in your control right now that's more important than the rest, your work examples. Your work examples are really important because that's how clients can see what kind of work you do. Great work examples will mean clients will respond to your proposals, but bad work examples mean you'll struggle to get work. So here's what you should and shouldn't do right now. Don't think that you need to have a client first in order to put work examples on your profile. When I got started on Upwork, I didn't have any clients or any reviews, so I just made up an imaginary project and did the best I could so that I could show clients what I could do if they worked with me. Also, don't say that you're just gonna do it later. Great work examples will help you win job number one and job number 1,000. Don't copy from other freelancers though. That's against Upwork's rules, but do check out what other successful freelancers are doing so that you can get some inspiration on what's working for other people who do what you do. It's worth it to spend extra time to make sure that you're showing off your best work because if a client sees a work example that they really like, they might be more likely to work with you. Be sure to create at least three work examples so that you can show off multiple examples of your great work. Fantastic work examples will help you win jobs, which will then allow you to work and earn money, but on top of that, also earn some great reviews. Reviews are important because when you have lots of five-star reviews, clients will hire you more and more at higher hourly rates. Get bad reviews and it'll be much harder to win jobs. Upwork's reviews process is really important to understand. Once you complete a job and the client is ready to end your contract, they'll get asked a bunch of questions. On a scale from one to 10, how likely are you to recommend this freelancer to a friend or colleague? Then on a scale from one to five stars, rate the freelancer's skills, availability, quality of work, adherence to schedule, communication, and cooperation. Then they can write their own feedback note for you. The first rating is private feedback. You'll never be able to see this, but it does affect your job success score. Your job success score is calculated every two weeks and can help you get special badges on Upwork like Rising Star, Top Rated, Top Rated Plus, and even Expert Vetted. The client sees your badges when you apply to the job as well as your job success score. A low JSS will make it harder to win work, but a high JSS will make it easier for you to stand out when the client sees your proposal next to all the others. 
to make sure that you're maximizing your reviews and your job success score. Don't accept every job. Only take on jobs where you know you can deliver awesome work on them. Getting great reviews starts with making sure you start off your jobs on the right foot. So before you even accept a contract, make sure you're absolutely clear about exactly what you're planning to do, how long you expect it'll take, and a rough range of how much it might be in total. Then, once you accept the job, deliver awesome work. And do your best to make sure that your client is over overjoyed with your work because that'll make it much easier for you to get great reviews. Throughout the job, over communicate so that your client always knows what you did yesterday, what you're doing today, and what you will be doing tomorrow. Just bear in mind that not every client knows how important reviews are on Upwork. So make sure that you always ask for a review at the end of a job. When you have a great cover letter, great work examples, and get awesome reviews on Upwork, you'll win more jobs and earn more money faster. If there's anything you have questions about, then leave a comment down below and check out the other videos on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.